MATLAB! Hello! In this video, we will write our first script, run it with MATLAB, and publish to PDF. Before we do anything, make sure you connect to your folder where you want to save all your MATLAB work. To open a blank script, navigate to the Home tab, then click on New Script. A new window pops up. I will choose to dock this tab. Let me type in a couple of commands here to show you what they might look like. Then I will save the script and, by default, the file will be saved into my connected folder. What are scripts and why are they useful? At their core, they are just text documents. Think documents made in programs like Notepad or Word. But we save them with a .m extension. And now MATLAB knows to interpret them as code. Any commands typed into the script will be evaluated once the script is run, as opposed to the command window where commands get processed immediately. I will click the Run button, the big green arrow, to demonstrate. These script commands will be evaluated in order from top to bottom. Variables created in the script will be stored in the workspace, just as we have seen before. Any text outputs, like sentences or results from calculations, will appear in the command window. In short, scripts are a way to write and save a whole set of instructions, rather than using the command window where we enter instructions one at a time. This allows us to do more powerful and organized work to save our work for later, to make edits, and to share our work. As a small example, in this script, I notice there are two main types of commands. One set for storing sentences, and one set for displaying them. So let's reorganize them. Scripts also allow us to write comments. We'll explore the different types of comments in a later video. But for now, I'll enter just two section headers, one for each of the command types just mentioned. I type these in with a double percent symbol, followed by a space, followed by whatever descriptive words I want to write. MATLAB will automatically make these comments appear green. Comments are useful for the human and not the computer. The code will run the same whether I have the comments or not, but I, as the human reader, can understand the code better thanks to the comments. Now I've written and tested my code. I feel confident that this is my final product, so let's publish this to PDF. Navigate to the Publish tab, then the Publish top drop-down arrow, then select Edit Publishing Options. There are many settings that you could tweak with how the file output will be displayed but there are only two we will worry about here. Next to Output File Format, click where it says HTML, then select PDF. Next to Output Folder, make sure that the file path indicates your MATLAB folder for this class. It should do this by default since we connected to that folder at the beginning of the video. As is, MATLAB will create a new subfolder named HTML. That doesn't make much sense to us, so let's give it a better name. I will delete HTML and replace it with Final PDFs. You can choose whatever name you want, but use no spaces in it. You may use the underscore character. Now, so we don't have to make these changes every time, let's save the settings. Next to Publish Settings, click Save As. Then type in a name for these settings. I will choose Taco as my settings name, just to demonstrate that it can be whatever you want. Now that the settings are saved, each time I want to publish a script, I will choose Edit Publishing Options and select the Taco settings. Finally, we are ready to click the Publish button. When we do this, MATLAB will take fractions of a second to process the code, but then it might take several seconds to write to PDF. Looking at the published PDF, we see why it is so useful to publish. We can see three key things. One, the actual code. Two, the comments. And three, any outputs from the code. 
These outputs will include plots later on, but here it is just a couple sentences. And all of this is beautifully formatted and ready to submit.